hi welcome back to our youtube channel again so in this video we will guide you through the process of fixing the power button on your dell docking station if you are experiencing issue with your docking station power button not working so this step by step tutorial will provide you with some necessary step for troubleshooting to resolve the problem and we will cover common cause of the issue and demonstrate the correct method to fix it by following our instruction you will be able to regain your control over your docking station power button and ensure a smooth functioning so don't let a manufacturing power button hinder your productivity any longer watch this video now and get your dual docking station back in your working order so now let's begin but before that please give us a thumbs up and subscribe our youtube channel for more latest video in future So in solution first here is you have to check your compatibility. First we have to ensure that your Dell docking station is compatible with your Dell laptop model. Then after this you have to some docking station may only work with a specific Dell laptop due to the firmware compatibility. And now we have to verify that the power button functionality is supported for your specific laptop and docking station combination. So now we here we have to move to second solution check bios second first we have to restart your laptop and during setup press and designate a key of an f2 or dell to enter the bios setup and then look for an option name wake up dell usb c dock in the bios setting first ensure that the option is enabled if you want to throw a dock to wake your system when connected if you prefer not to use the dock to wake your system you can disable this option now we are is we have to go into solution third reinstall thunderbolt controller driver so we have to right click on the start menu then we have to search a device manager here device manager and now we have to click on this there are we have to go into system devices scroll down you have to find the system devices and now you have to click on this expand this there you have to find your thunderbolt system controller device like i am showing you how you can delete it here. first simply going to the thunderbolt and then you have to double click this now there are the option uninstall or update first you have to click on the uninstall that's how you can uninstall your thunderbolt device in your system after this you have to going to lock it then right after this you have to going to download the latest thunderbolt control device from dell website simply we have to go in dell website and now you have to click on this driver and diagnostic or like i am saying update driver first you have to go into this then there you have to type your dell docking station id number or simply i am showing you how you can choose type your thunderbolt this is the example how you can create and download your thunderbolt device simply i am showing you then I am choosing TV system. Then we have to go into the driver and download it. And now scroll down. You have to wait. Then you have to choose which window of preferences are you using. Simply going to this system. Then there are the options X, B, S, B, C. So. You have to choose this 64 bit and then type your Dell docking like Dell and over TV and scroll down. Now there are the options download. Simply you have to select system to guide and now you have to click on the download. That's all you can scroll now. That's how you can delay. 
or going simply you have to click on the download select it. that's how you can download the latest standard over controller driver um, from the website and install the driver and restart your computer after this installing the thunderbolt control driver update version so these are the simple solutions you have to take in when you see your dell docking station power button not working so thank you for watching our video i hope you like it and we will catch you in our next video